guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, if you're new here, uh, hello, I am Raniela of Succulents and Dreams. Today's video, we are going to be reporting my leggy and sad looking Echeveria Chroma. Has been sitting in this pot for a while now, and as you can see, the bottom leaves has just keep falling off, and then it just kept getting longer and longer. It has been in the shade for a while. To fix the leggy succulents, this is what I would usually do. I would get clean scissors or something sharp and I will snip it like this. Just like that. As you can see. The leggy or stretch out succulents are called etiolated, which means the succulent has been reaching out for light. That's why they look so stretchy and leggy. They're looking out for lights. So I would just take off some of these under leaves until I find, you know, something that would look more of a rosette. So I'll just keep taking off lower leaves. You know, these lower leaves can be used for propagations. You just need to wiggle left and right gently and it will just come off so easily. Just be careful not to hurt the plant and put a get a cut on the leaves. So as you can see where the leaves came from, there are nodes. So when this plant will grow new roots, that is where they're gonna come out. So we have one down and let's put it aside. And then we're going to do the same thing on this other rosette. So we're just gonna cut it just like um, so on the side. There you go. Oops. So you gotta be a little careful. So this is what our sad looking leggy chroma looks like. We're just gonna pinch off more of their lower leaves. Um, I'm doing this because as you can see there are damaged leaves and there are a lot of gaps in between them. It doesn't look nice anymore. I am doing this to um, correct the shape and eventually this plant will be placed in a um, brighter area where it will receive a lot of light to prevent this from happening again in the future. There are a lot of types of succulents, but particularly these ones that have rosette forms like this Echeveria requires a lot of bright light. You know, that's why they do best when you put them in direct sunlight, you know, like a really bright area. Because that is what they need to maintain their rosette shape. If you notice that there's white stuff in there, that's actually mealybugs. Mealybugs are the most common <coughs> pest for succulents and they're nasty. Here's a quick remedy and proven and tested remedy. I would use alcohol. So I'm just going to soak the Q-tip and I'm going to use that to wipe off the white stuff, which is the aphids, off of my plant, just like so. If you have something like this and you have more than what I have on my plant, just put the alcohol in a spray bottle and spray it all over your plant. This will kill all the aphids and it will not hurt your plant. I promise you that. I've done that many times. Alcohol evaporates easily and it will not linger in your plants. So we're left with a couple of leaves that we've taken off the plants. So we will inspect these leaves if they look healthy, if they don't have any cuts, or if they don't look wrinkled or whatever. We can use it to propagate just like this one. It actually came from the same plant. You know, after a week or so, it will grow roots and it will have a small baby plant in them, just like this. I would just usually put them somewhere in the shade that also receives some light and then they will just eventually 
grow new babies i just leave them out just like that and just like that you now have some baby succulents now you may place them on top of your pot with some succulent mix and you may mix them on the roots but do not overwater them because they will easily get mushy and die okay we're back to our cuttings so this is my potting mix as you can see there are a lot of white stuff um, those are perlite and what they do is they make my potting mix very well draining which means when I water my plants the water will just go through it and it will not settle um, the succulents need that so they don't sit in moisture because succulents don't like that and this is a cement planter that I made comment down below if you want to learn more about it and I will make a separate video about it so I will put a screen just like this one it's just a piece of something that's like a mesh and then I will put it towards the hole like that this is just so the potting mix will not you know go all the way through the hole so I will just fill it like so so I'll just scoop it and fill the small pot with some of my potting mix dump it a little bit normally when I do cuttings I will wait for like one to two days maybe three days before I plant it so the plant will develop a callus towards the end but since my potting mix is dry it's no issue if I just plant it directly to it just like so as long as it's not wet and I will not water it for like maybe oops as I was saying I will not water it for like maybe five days until I know that the plant has already developed a callus now putting pebbles or toppings on top of the soil mix is optional there's actually a discussion about it but as for my personal opinion it serves purpose for the plant you know it keeps the leaves from touching the soil or you know when you get water for it touching the moist soil mix it also prevents fungus gnats those you know icky flies and the best of all it helps the plant be stabilized you know even if you shake it like this now we will just have to repeat the same thing for the other plant I will keep this plant in a partial shade for the meantime as the plant establishes and will eventually move it into a brighter location where it gets full sun. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!